Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. In today's Tech Tip Tuesday, we'll be taking a look at the brand new integration of SOLIDWORKS PDM in conjunction with SOLIDWORKS Composer in 2019. For those of you that aren't familiar with SOLIDWORKS Composer, it's a powerful program that enables you to go to market faster by helping you create appealing technical documentation and deliverables that you can then present your SOLIDWORKS design with. This new integration with SOLIDWORKS PDM will help ensure that all of your Composer documents are kept secure and that any changes or updates are managed effectively and shown across the board. So let's go ahead and take a look at the capabilities of PDM now in SOLIDWORKS Composer 2019. So the first thing you'll notice when opening up Composer is the addition of the SOLIDWORKS PDM tab at the top. From there, we can see all of the different features that PDM has to offer, such as the check-in and check-out, uh, get latest version, the ability to show card properties, change state, and view other pertinent information about the project. So here we can use the PDM search function to very quickly navigate through our extensive list of projects in our vault by just entering in a number of parameters and quickly being able to see the results. So from here I can select the correct project I want to start working on and use the checkout option to ensure that there's no design conflicts and that I'm the sole user that is able to make changes to this project at the time. So now that I have my project open, I'm going to go ahead and start making some changes to this file. Now that I've made all the changes I need for this project, I can go ahead and save the file out. And also I'm going to make sure that I'm going to check in the files to ensure that all the changes are kept track and that the version history is kept as well. If you notice, you'll see that the local version has changed from 3 out of 3 to 4 out of 4. Any sort of changes you make to a SOLIDWORKS component, part, or document will always be kept track of in PDM so that you can go back to an earlier version at any time and use it and take a look and also make changes as necessary. Here you can also see that I have the get version option or I can go back to a previous version that I had for my document to take a look, or I can choose to get latest version to quickly go back to the last saved instance and checked in instance of this file. Now that I'm completed with my project, I'm going to submit this project over for approval directly in SOLIDWORKS Composer using the change state option by following the workflow assigned to my organization SOLIDWORKS PDM setup. I can submit this to a supervisor or whoever is in charge of approving all the projects that are submitted by going ahead, adding a comment as to the changes I made. So updated colors and added new exploded view. I can select OK. And now that that's been passed on to approval, you can also see the workflow state is now waiting for approval as opposed to under editing. So with all of these features in mind, you can rest assured that now in SOLIDWORKS Composer, all of your files and documents will be managed properly and that all design changes will be kept track and that you can go back to any sort of version history at any time with the powerful features of SOLIDWORKS PDM. That's it for today's Tech Tip Tuesday and we'll see you in the next one.